Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines. We are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, aka Swifty Spider, aka Architect Mint, depending on where you find me. And um, today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we got some demand demand here for all three uh, zones. So, well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to expand out this little. Uh, gated golf community. It's not really gated, but this little golf community. Um, and we're going to expand it out to uh, along the river here. I'm going to leave a gap here and eventually I think we will probably expand into this area um, and we might wrap around and eventually meet up to into that area. And uh, we'll really start to get a, a, a more complete picture of this whole uh, city here. I am really enjoying how this is turning out. So this is going to be another one of those videos where you just basically you're going to watch me um, put the grid down and zone things and I'll probably uh, plop buildings in before I start uh, letting things zone up. So uh, just forewarning as to what kind of video you got yourself into. So hopefully uh, we will uh, make it entertaining for you too. Okay, so I already got some good commercial here. I got some residential right next to that. I think I'm going to have some offices right up next to the freeway. And then uh, we might we might put like a, a proper mall here. I think this is a perfect location for a good proper mall. Uh, or we might even have uh, an additional on-off uh, ramp over here. And uh, that sort of thing to try and... Uh, yeah, really get a, a suburban feel to it. I really want that suburban feel. So, uh, let's see here. Let's base this around some of the things. So we got a Walmart here, which I don't know if you uh, saw this, but I did put a Walmart over here. So we do have a Walmart over here and a bunch of little roadside hotels, uh, our motels. Uh, I put it one extra gas station there and then we got like a little grocery store here. So I think um, this is going to be a little bit more expansive than that. Uh, and I want to try and maybe utilize my uh, parking roads to make it a bit more realistic, at least to American cities. Not that it's idealistic, it certainly is anything but, but, uh, yeah, let's see, we got a Sears Target here. I know we have like a, a mall, a bunch of mall stores, so gonna have there's there's a Coles there that's not actually that big at all um, Dix isn't that big okay um, just a car wash there but then we got like Macy's here and so you, know, you see like Macy's that's a proper uh, it goes to a proper mall and you got Dillard's you got Bloomingdale's and you got a Best Buy here which is a little bit bigger you got CJ Nickel, which I don't know if that's like, I've never heard of that before. Not a, something that's here in Texas. Uh, we've got a Michaels. So, we've got some, you know, good uh, destination retail going on here. And let's see what else. Crate and Barrel, not that big. Ashley Home Store. Yeah. Got a big old Target here. About the same size as a Walmart. Uh, got. But a nice big old Bass Pro Shops pyramid. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, big old department store here. Wow, this is kind of weird with the way they have multiple circles going on there. But uh, yeah, well, might as well try it out. Oh, it looks like it goes sideways too. Okay, and uh, opera shops. Mm, okay. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. We're not going to do that though. Uh, okay, so how do I want my mall to go? Do I want it like pushed over here? I kind of want it like stuck in the corner over here between the freeway and here. So, I don't know. We need to have maybe another connection to the freeway here, right? Do we? That freeway is really starting to be pretty busy too because everybody's coming to, to go that way. Just let me think through for a second here.
Okay, so I think we're going to do a bit of a mishmash. I don't want to do just purely um, huge parking lots and stuff. They tend to seem stay empty in this game. Um, and I don't know. If we're going to play a game, we might as well make it more idealistic than real life to show what could be. I, I, I think so. So that's what I'm going to stick with there. So we got these um, parking lots, but we also don't we have just like a parking lot roads where you park on the side. Yeah, like over there. So we got the 6090 parking road. And you got a 6090 in this. That's urban. I guess this is suburban. So, you can do the suburban here. And, uh, I think I'm saving. Okay, I was like, man, what's going on? Something's frozen. Something's not right. Uh, with all these extra assets and mods, uh, it's really, the game has become a lot more finicky. Uh, it's crashed a couple times on me. It's, it's not running nearly as smooth as it uh, used to. And that's, I think, just, uh, a, a memory issue uh, for my computer, and B, excuse me, and B, I think some of these mods just, they don't work as smoothly as uh, other things. So, in any case, so we're going to stick with this, and I might just kind of run it uh, somewhat parallel to this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we run it like parallel to here, right about Yay, far away. More or less parallel to the freeway here. Oh, I need to turn my control P off. And to fix that, I'll just go to my movement mod and I'll grab a tree and I'll move it along the, the road here. And it, as if I had never had it off in the first place. Um, which is nice. Now, instead of having a sugar maple, I like being able to choose the trees. And it's letting me do that over here. So let's um, let's find a better tree that I like better. Um, let's see what we got here. Which tree is it gonna be? So you might go with one of these like just leafy fools. See what that looks like. See, I think that's a pretty good tree to have on your road there. What you say? I'm gonna leave that lone tree there. Okay, um back to roads, leafy fool. Actually, what was it? It wasn't Leafy Fool. It was Leafy Tend. Leafy Tend. Whatever that means. Okay, so let's look for Leafy Tend. Leafy Tend. Leafy Tend. There it is. Leafy Tend. Okay, street light. Um, hmm. Oh, I love how you can choose the color of the light. Not that I know what these look like. I wish you could change them, like, after the fact. You can also, it looks like you can change how often, um this over. Uh, distance between trees is default 40 medium value. Must be between 1 and 100. So I can make them closer together if I wanted to, which is nice as well. Hmm. Well, 
Prime Street lamp. And a neutral white. Yeah, we'll see how that looks. Okay, let's get that moved back out of the way. And let's see how we how it looks. So this is going to be, again, a bit more tedious because I'm going to try and detail the area out a bit. Oh, I needed to turn the control P back off. Oh, I forgot to do that again. Sorry, guys. So I'll just, again, grab my road here, move it along. Okay, let's uh, take a look. So, I think those trees look great, by the way. Yeah, and that street lamp ought to look okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And, you know, it's basically, it's a wide street. And then what you'll do is you will grab from the parking over here. And you're going to grab... And one of these. You know, I don't know about that one. You know, and I don't, I don't know that I can just plop it like that. I might have to grab one of these and do it a bit more manually on each side. You know, and I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to wait till I got like everything figured out and done because it's such a tedious thing that you only want to do that once. So I'm not going to do that quite yet, but um, get the road there, um, and let's see here. I think we'll have like our mall here, so I'm going to go back to these parking lot roads. Can you build off of the parking lot road? Let me, let me see. You can, okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to my Rico here. And I'm going to pause the game even. And I'm going to do my first uh, big mall store. Let's do Macy's. Okay. So there we go. we got Macy's going on there. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it is detailed all the way around, so... You know, it's designed to be able to smush things together to, to make it look like a mall. Let's see about Dillard's. And see, I can't just throw a Dillard's down. But what I'll want to do is I'll want to um, kind of create a little mall parking edge. You know, that interior road that goes around the mall. So, you know, it'll go something like, like this, and ultimately what you're going to want, you want it to actually be like a 90 degree. This is all. Oh, come on, I know I have a dealer. There it is. Did I spell it wrong? Is that my problem? Probably. Okay. Okay, whatever. Alright. Mall. Does that work better? What have we got here? Walker. Uh, what is that? Let's just take a look. What is it? Frank, uh, so it's got like some advertisement on there. It's a cool looking building, I guess. I do like the way it looks. I don't know that I want it right where I put it. I can move it. Seems like it's uh, like a landmark building. I've not seen it before. Uh, I don't know where I downloaded it, how, how it got to, to be downloaded, but uh, you know, it doesn't have that big a, a negative area of effect. I might try and stick this over here somehow to where it can uh, 
a really good positive effect on all those buildings there. Yeah, it's a touristy landmark building, whatever it is. Okay. Interesting. Okay, and uh, Mall Mall Mall. Skyland Mall main entrance. Ooh, okay. So, I'll put my main entrance over here. So, we want to go ahead and use that way. And go back to this one. Yeah. And go. And do a rear entrance. Oh, wow. I wonder if we can do it like right there. Okay. Oh, well, that was the main entrance. We'll do the rear entrance. We're going to kind of mush it together a little bit here. Got a wing entrance. Do that like right here. So let's see here. Get this one here. there. All right. And there's just a right, regular mall extension it looks like. Square and angled. Okay. So you can kind of make it fit to as you see fit. What do you mean building already exists? You can only build one mall extension? <laughs> I was about to build 30 of these things. <laughs> that ain't gonna work the way I, I thought it was gonna work. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well. Now let's go back to, was it Rico? Yeah. Let's go back to the Rico and let's see about getting some of these other buildings. So we got the Dillard's, let's do a Bloomingdale's. So, I guess we want Bloomingdale's to, to go like right about here, but facing the other direction. Yeah, so we'll put a road right there. Go back to the Rico. I got to go all the way to it. There we go. Get your Bloomingdale's. Uh, let's take a Best Buy over here. CJ Nickel. Yeah, I'll fill that space in. Um. There was a Sears, wasn't there? Yeah, here's a Sears. Go right there. I mean, it kind of works. A bit more smushed together than I might want. Uh, maybe I, uh... Delete that and can move this this way a little bit. Move that, that way. This can go over the Macy's a little bit there. 
just gonna go back a little bit, just a little bit close. Do the CG nickel over this way. And, uh, you know, we might need to move roads around or something, I don't know. Kind of like that pillar sticking out like that. And I like that mall entrance. More or less how it is. Might move it up just a little bit and over. What is this? Oh, this is that. <laughs> you, you, you can only have one, which I think is hilarious for what it is. And we'll, uh, we'll put it in here like, like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And, uh, Yeah, that, that, that all looks good. All right, so now I got a little shopping mall. It's not exactly like uh, a shopping mall that I would go to, but um, not bad. Not bad. Uh, we'll take it, right? Okay. So, now that we got that, we need to think about the actual road parking layout. You know, I think we just extend this on over and makes some sense to go ahead and bring it on out. I don't know if we want to do more of that number there. this kind of give it a little bit extra curve there I don't know maybe we just curve that appropriately there we go and then we can start using these little parking lots here now in actual parking lot design and I have designed uh, actual real-life parking lots that have been built um, yeah, for better and for worse. Uh, typically, the way you do it is you have your rows going towards your building, particularly when you have a larger scale parking lot. So I don't want my my rows to go parallel to my building. I want them to go perpendicular to the building. So that way, you go, you park your car, and then you get out of your car, and you can walk down the aisle. Uh, where you, otherwise, uh, you're constantly having to go between cars and crossing traffic and then go between two rows of cars and then crossing traffic and two rows of cars and crossing traffic to get to your destination and um, you know that that's not what you want you also are able to put um, uh, sidewalks and walkways between rows uh, if we have a higher end commercial but uh, the other big thing with parking is efficiency uh, you actually when you're designing it uh, you have to measure your efficiency because if you're not efficient then at least in my case, my architect, uh, he made me go back and try again. <laughs> he wanted it efficient, and I don't blame him, and that's what the clients want, you know, because they're paying for that land, you might as well get it efficient, especially when you're trying to make so many parking spots uh, to, to go with code or whatever it is. All right, let's delete that and see about bringing that. And then we could maybe do right here, like a double, and then do a single right here. Oh, we might need to turn snapping off or something. I don't know, maybe it makes sense to, to do that right there. And right there. Right? I mean, that's that's how a typical mall's going to look anyway, right? Now, let's bring that over. It's not how we want it. We want it to go like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. Okay. 
okay, it just needs to go a little bit more like that. And that works. And I'll leave I'll leave that uh, open space there, especially because I think we need parking less in this game than we would in real life. In real life, I'd give it actually quite a bit more parking, probably triple the or double to triple the space. Uh, but uh, this is for the game world. This will work, uh, I think. I'm gonna take those two out. Let those be green space, and I think I will take that one out. I'm gonna take that one out. Okay, we might want to do some uh, cross. Right there. Does that make sense to do? I don't really. Mm. This doesn't look right because I'm trying. I'm trying to, to make a balance between putting a lot of parking in and making it realistic, and then just not needing, to put, not putting too much parking in because I don't think it's necessary for the game. So I think what I'll do is I'll do that, and I'll just leave these, um, and I'll actually maybe put some other stuff here. So uh, we always got, you know, we can always do like our Bass Pro Shops. Along, somewhere along here. Oh, that's looking pretty big, so maybe we do that. It's interesting, it doesn't actually, it won't go along the actual parking lots, which you'd think you'd want. Okay. Home Depot here. Ooh, that, that's kind of interesting to see. Put it over here or something. Now I might put it right here like this. Just like that. Get your target. And see, I see this road coming out and the target going on that road. Or being on this road even. That's what I see. what we'll do. So you got your main entrance here. You wouldn't have the back of Target, though, doing that. So I'm going to delete that. And maybe we want to stick it, like, right here. So. Or maybe we'd stick it, like, right here. that and we'll put some parking in there and put a good pedestrian path in there as well okay. an at home store those big box retail so I'm gonna have to change up that Home Depot as well this doesn't make sense I just move it? No, I'm gonna have to move it. Alright, so how do I want the Home Depot and stuff to go? I like that target being there and having maybe a row of, of buildings. And then having some parking here. You know what you do is you stick a restaurant right there. 
And I think we have a good one. Let's do a find it. Let's do cheese. Cheesecake Factory, baby. There we go. There it is. It's not as big as I thought it would be <laughs> compared to some of the other things. But you know what? That's probably not entirely inaccurate either. So we'll stick it like right here. They always stick their, their uh, stuff right in front of them all. And I think what I'll do I think is I'll, I'll rotate this connect it this way. Now, I'll give it a little space because I think I'll put a pathway here anyway, just for the sake of evening things out. So, I think that'll be fine. And we can go ahead and stick our pathway in. Cheesecake Factory there, and uh, what's this? Uh, road maintenance. Yeah, I'm not gonna place that right now. And the rest of this is all just parking. And do big old parking garages, which I I don't think is appropriate or necessary. I'm trying to get away from just parking lotting this entire little section here. But I think he had the Cheesecake Factory here. Honestly, it would be facing this, not this. That's really what I think. But, you know, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. And uh, we want to target here. I think we'll definitely have like a, a ring there, right? And just kind of give a little bit of space and throw another one down, but not too much space. That's about right. Let's um, move this one over. Cool. We got those parking spaces as well. And we'll fill those in the same way we did these. And let's see, what else do we got? We go wise. You got this big old department store here. Hmm. We want to have it facing. Oh, I, I think that's what we could do. We could have it to where this is just a proper road. Coming back this way. And we could probably stick a road going straight back. You know, because you want access for the dumpsters and stuff as well and put you a nice big store 
on the back end here like that. It's kind of strange. It's like the back of the store is the front and the front of the store is the back. I don't really know what this is. Walco Department Store. I've never heard of it. It's like that's really like the dock over there. Just the front of it. It's just ugly looking. Okay. Now, fair enough. Some people uh, don't know. They, they, they have ugly buildings, so that's okay. Hmm. Do it like that. Maybe move this back a little bit or something. I don't know. bring it down over here. I love all these big box retails. Okay, we're, we're saving it real quick. Processing. 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 Alright. Process. It's, just a, it's a big store. It's bigger than this other one store that I just put down. So maybe I do this instead. Put my Home Depot down there over here. And I can at home go over here. I kinda like that. And crate and barrel. Now oh, this can go back in over here. And let's bring it on over. Oh, I love that. That really changes things up a bit, doesn't it? Get this big old thing here. It's made to go like around a roundabout. I was thinking of maybe like trying to stick it in this little corner here, but it's, it's just not gonna fit. Okay. Um, oh, we've got an Ikea. Yeah. Well, the Ikea probably fits just barely right over here. Kind of doesn't fit. I could fit it maybe over here. It fits better here. I bet you I could make it fit better this way. Oh, I love how it has a connection right there. I love that. That's fantastic. Oh, it's because I... <laughs> I thought that was, I mean, it was going into the dock and everything. So, I was like, oh, that is fantastic looking. <laughs> Oy, that's funny. Do you know what? We can, I don't mind leaving that in. You know, we can create like another little street here that just does kind of connect. Okay. I already did the Home Depot, didn't we? Let's do a little Kohl's. It's not a big one. Just a little department store. Really, I want to put it like right here. They just won't let you with these parking things. So... I think what I'm going to have to do is convert this. I'm going to have to leave that. I can always re put it down. And go back to my Rico here. Uh, okay, what was I going to... What was it? Let's, let's replace our cheese fa cake factory. Ah, there we go.
put that down this way. I think that'll be better. Bus station. Look at that. It's kind of random looking. Okay. And we were good. We were at our Rico and down over here. And, uh, yeah, we had a Coles here. Mush that in. And Dix, and we'll mush this in as well. Oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, let's um, mush this in with the rest of them. This can actually go back, I think, a little bit. And this can go back just a little bit as well. And this will may maybe a little bit less. Yeah, that looks, I think, pretty decent. We have the coals match up that way. Oh, I'm loving the way all this looks. Okay, and uh, what do we got here? Billy's car wash again. No, no thank you. I put the Ikea over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks pretty good, I'd say. All right. Uh, I think we did the at home already, didn't we? Yeah, it's over there. Ashley Home Store. Kind of a smaller one, but not small by any means. Hmm. Kind of an odd puppy. What it really wants to do is it kind of wants to face this way somehow. But they, I'll place that and then I'll you know, rotate it all around. I don't like how it looks though. Not completing my look. Uh, this almost needs to be like a, a good walkable block. And this Ashley home store needs to be like uh, facing this way. Like that. Facing that way, but over here. <laughs> hmm. So if I do this, is that enough room for it? Gotta find it again. It's not. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Get the west in here. I like a hotel over here. Not not the worst thing I've seen. I think what I'll do, I'll plop it and then I'll, you know, work it, position it. Yeah, I 
I think I'll smush this on back. Also move it over. Like that. Oh look, it's got a little Starbucks in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, that looks decent. Okay. And uh, I think we did the calls, didn't we? Yeah, we got the calls right there, dicks. Alright. Best Buy. I don't think we got the Best Buy. I had placed it, but then I had eliminated, eliminated it. It had been like over here. I want to put it back over there. I don't think I will. It either needs to come like over here, which <laughs> totally takes out the Cheesecake Factory, or, um, you know, kind of. Wonder if we could put the Ashley Home Store a little bit over and fit this in on, on the side as well. Right there. It doesn't quite fit in there. Or we can stick it maybe kind of. So that one's facing that way. You kind of pretend like it goes in there. fit in here I think perfectly. Hmm. Where should Michaels go? Yeah, we can always move Ashley on over. We can move Michaels over thusly as well. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, this is much different than it would be in real life, mainly because I'm putting in so much less parking than I would imagine it would need in real life. And it really changes things up quite a bit. Never did the big old brass pro shop pyramid. We could do that like over here. small retail so yeah, let's just throw some small retail in here now so got a Mac oh we got a bad bathroom beyond that looks pretty good too big I think yeah, just a nice little generic shop here stop we have a stick chick-fil-a on this corner here it makes a whole lot of sense and I'm not trying to be sarcastic but it uh, makes a lot of sense um, put the dollar store right next to the Mac <laughs> um, hmm. Let's take the doll store. Big old food lion. We could do that here. Got a little GNC here. Hmm. I don't know 
O'Reilly's Auto Parts like actually on the street here. I like that. Bell Bonds. Kind of don't like that. Two Carnival. Too big. O'Charlie's. Too big. Here we go. Bad Hombres. Yeah. <laughs> Bad hombres, T-Mobile. Okay, awesome. I can go over here. Yeah. Little Caesars. Perfect. We've got a little bank here. Start putting some stuff over here. That one's too big though. There, it can go there though. Let's go back to some of these other ones that were too big. Chicago. Can go here. Kind of not the right spot for it though, is it? Sorry, Shoe Carnival. No Charlie's. Once again, it's just a bit large. But this one, I feel like I could maybe nudge over here. And that, that, might, that actually kind of works. Brothers Grocery. It's like the old timey place that just won't refuses to go out of business. Let's take it in this little corner here. You see this because the mod didn't work. Okay, well. Goodbye. And <laughs> no don't need to that bad. Don't need to that bad. Okay. Let's put some stuff over here. Let's do some loft over here. Mm. Put the McDonald's there. Red Rock Plaza. Right there. Oh, there's a corner. Go a pawn shop in there. A luxury shopping center. Ooh, it makes it so luxury. Didn't seem that fancy to me, but. They said it was luxury, so you gotta take their word for it. Mm -hmm. Commercial warehouses. You get a little eye hop here. Oh, that's cool. It'll definitely go on the street here. We have a subway like right there though. Yeah. So I'm not gonna stick another one so close. I like having a gas station. Like that idea. Stick it over here. Got a real supermarket. Super real. <laughs> I actually put that uh, elsewhere in the game, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. You know, like a gas station on this corner. Yeah, that looks good. And, oh, it's got the little neighborhood market from Walmart. I love that. 
Oh, we'll definitely stick that in over here somewhere. Um, I think right here would be great. Right on this corner. Well, that looks fantastic, too. All the parking is done for me, everything. Oh, I love it. All right, whoever did that asset, uh, I gotta give them props because that looks fantastic. I gotta figure out who did it, give them credit too. Another McDonald's, but we're not gonna do a second one. Car dealership, all right. Yeah, I'll bite. Yeah, let's stick it over here. Go buy a Toyota. All right, uh, a Crystal, and then another Chick-fil-A. It looks less. Well, it's not necessarily small. It's just shaped funky. That one looks like a real Chick-fil-A. This one looks like somebody just threw Chick-fil-A onto a building. Okay. Ford car dealership. Yeah. Yeah. We'll stick it next to the Toyota, right? Yeah. Skyline's Ford City. I love it. It looks like a legit dealership. I mean, with the, the way that they do their actual dealerships. Okay, and get your Popeye's chicken. But I'll fit in right there. And uh, staples. Yeah, so the staples will probably need to come over here. And uh, what we got? We got the game stuff. We did that one already, though, didn't we? We did a different one, but it was a game stop. Subway, we did that. Target. Toys are us. Out of business, but hey, not in our world. In our world, they're still in business. Got a little FedEx office. And then the gas station. I'm gonna stick it like right here. Looks great. You know, I'm kind of, the one of the reasons I'm so excited is this looks so much more than the, the vanilla game, like where I live. Where I've lived my entire life, you know, we got these gas stations. It ain't perfect, I mean, look at that, that looks hideous from the, from the sky. But you know what, it's, it's real, you know. It's, there's something about it, and it, it's, it feels good to have, like, oh, I recognize that. Now, I kind of want this, and I don't know if it'll let me, I kind of want it to turn that way and make it kind of like uh, people could drive in from either side it's really the idea behind it okay Ooh, I can see Crackle Bear Party City yeah definitely need a party CD city over here I'm going to stick that over here and then you got Cracker Barrel Restaurant oh I love it and Michael Burrow will go over here. And uh, Super Target. Chevrolet dealership. Okay, yeah. Why is the Chevy dealership so much bigger? <laughs> oh, it's huge. Kind of ridiculous. At home, we did that. Get some little corner things. Best Western Motel. Checkers. I really like checkers, but hey, some other people might. Uh, Ibis Hotel. Hmm. You know, we'll maybe uh, stick it somewhere, but uh, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Okay. And Walmart Auto Care Center. Oh, where's my Walmart? Walmart. Yeah, my little neighborhood thing. shops over here. Maybe we put this. And delete that hoity toity supposedly shopping center, which honestly didn't look that great. Uh, not to be harsh to the, whoever built that, because I'm sure you all worked hard on it, did better than I could do, but um, still didn't like it that much. Air bread here. I just think, I mean, that's a good hard corner, except that the IKEA is clipping into it. In a way that's just not authentic. Yeah, we'll stick it. We'll 
just throw it right there. Yeah. All right, we got the spread store. Clips. Taco Bell. Walgreens. Makes that look real great. Taco Bell's gonna go over here. that look it looks better than you would have thought oh they got like a little playground in the background huh let's see here Taco Bell needs to go over here I guess I mean it looks pretty good very well detailed lot okay uh Vic and Bill's market Yeah, okay. Another subway. The Fresh Market. Einstein Bros. You can't fit over there. Get the Kroger. Now, I'm going to put that, like, over here. Kind of have the room for it. What, I, what is this? It's a fire station. I might move that fire station. Uh, make way for the Kroger here. And I might make the Kroger face this way. And I'll just need to adjust this fire station so that... I mean, they can still... You know, cohabitate the block. It's just let's be at the back like that. There we go. All right. Another Rico Subway. Okay, Parkway Food Market. I actually stick that like over here because it's like I know you got Kroger there, but this is like uh, you you want the. <laughs> it's clearly from the other side of the tracks. Uh, I bet you that's by King Lino and everything. And Barnes and Nobles. Can't have a shopping area with all of Barnes and Noble. Well, that's the destination retail. My local city uh, mall here. I think I've, I've filled this in pretty well. I don't know that I'm going to have a lot more space. Without building more roads out, at least. Maybe we could sneak it in over here. Express. Some of these are great, they're just they're too deep. Uh, the lot sizes are too deep. Forever 31, is that what it says? <laughs> Forever 31. I, I, I think that's funny. Uh, I get it, and I like it. This one can fit over here. Smoothie King. Can't fit in over here. But over here. Not in a way that fits well. Not in a way that fits well. Too deep for over here. Really goes next to that Einstein bagel. It's got the same one. Doesn't look horrible. And we'll just kind of. Boy. Is it too much or too little? Put it right there. And then we'll
There we go. Alright. Kind of just incorporated the IKEA. Just had to do it. Okay. Interesting, interesting. We have some little space here. Does that look like a shopping center, destination retail mall, or what? I mean, it looks a lot different than this, which is how the game naturally comes to do these types of areas. And not even naturally, because a lot of this stuff is still downloaded from me. Well, and I guess we're saving right now, so bear with us. But you know, it's definitely a different look to it. One that's more realistic. More realistic, not realistic, but more realistic. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and hit play, see how things play out while we deal detail things. So let's detail this out a little bit, make it look better. Oh, man, we're like, oh, you know what? I don't have water for any of this stuff. And, man, this seems to be really super laggy. I don't know if it was still just thinking or I'm running out of memory, which is very possible. But what I'm going to have to, honestly, guys, as fun as it is to have all these extra assets and mods, I might have to just go back to the way I've been playing for the sake of my computer until I upgrade my memory, which... Um, barring, you know, some miracle money coming in from my YouTube page, which I think is just too early to expect uh, for how long I've been doing it. Uh, honestly, uh, while I do try to make the best videos I can, I think I'll, I'll be able to make better videos later down the road as I get more experience. Um, so unless I, I do that, uh, just money-wise, I'm going, it's going, I'm going to wait. All right. Hopefully, they'll get their water. Should be plenty of water, yeah? Yeah, there's plenty of availability. That's not my problem. I'm going to have to worry about my garbage collection here soon, I think. I'm going to have to add to capacity. and probably going to need to add something because I think the nearest is right here. I'm going to need to add something that can kind of act act as the, the back end for this area here. You can always already see somebody's complaining. I think that's dads and not trash, but you get yeah, you, you get the same sense, right? So okay. So we're gonna detail this out. It's definitely running slower. It's not moving nearly as fast. Uh, we're gonna have to take this snap off. Um, ooh, we can change the street lamp. I love it. It. Oh, you can change the pillar. Very oh, okay, great. That's that's amazing. Um, oh, I already have one here. Hmm. It's just not going to be quite right. Let's do it like this, where we have it stuck to this one side. Like that. Let's um let's throw in curve here. Curve. And we'll do large curve network. What is this? Yeah, no pillars mod. Just to the side here. And then we'll grab it with our move it mod and just take it over. Oh, we're going to have to do it manually. So we can be more precise with it. Alright, there we 
we go. Looks pretty good. And then uh, we can always go in. Go down some bushes now. What does this look like? Control P. Nah, I like that. Nothing too crazy. Okay, and so we'll do it here. It's just not quite right. So let's change the spacing to maybe just 11. Oh, maybe 10.9. There we go. That way, kind of just evenly spacing there. That looks actually really good. Just really, really great. Okay. Um, let's throw in a big tree over here. Just normal. Throw in another big tree right there. Just really amps it up a little bit. Huh? Same thing with this cracker barrel. Okay. thing is <laughs> lagging. I've, I've really uh, kind of destroyed the, the area. Oh man, I'm, I'm just worried about it crashing. Perfect. It's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to save the game. And, um, we'll, we'll see how things go. Like I said, like we've got lots of traffic here, so we're going to have to see this one. I hope that happens. that better. And, uh, yeah, we definitely, we definitely threw in some commercial. All right, guys, talk to you later.